Is your student bored with long lectures? Have you noticed your students like this? Then, you might want to revisit your teaching strategy. You know, in this modern age, we need to let our students think, to let them participate, explore, create, learn, and have fun. For today's video, I will show you an easy way to increase student participation, an online tool that we could use for us to engage our students while making it fun and interesting too. Have you heard about Kahoot? It is a game-based learning platform that makes it easy to create, share, and play learning games or trivia quizzes in minutes. In situation we have right now, online classes being implemented. Students tend to learn in front of their screen. And us educators, our challenge is how to make it exciting. Kahoot is an application that I use in my classroom even before we have this pandemic. I use this to loosen up just to have warm-up quizzes and group reviews. Kahoot enables the students to raise their energy level to the highest level every time and on good point, it also cultivates the competitive side of the student since the highest score was being showed every after the questions. That makes them even more competitive. Kahoot provides quick, real-time results and gives students instant feedback on their devices without anyone being called out individually. Also, after every Kahoot game, you could have the option to download the result into a spreadsheet which give you an option to review each student's output that allows you to monitor which part of the quiz you need to deal more time with. To start, log in to create.kahoot.it and you have an option to create your own or use discover but I suggest to just create your own to ensure that you are hitting your learning outcomes to create just click create and start importing your questions you could type your questions here and you have the option to write the answers below so again, type your question here and your option here, option 1, option 2. You could also have the option to upload or drop an image from your computer to make it uh, more engaging and if you would like to give clues to your student. Do not forget to hit the correct answer. You may also adjust the time limit from 5 seconds to, to 60 seconds. You could also adjust the points. And you could also add more questions to that. You have an option to write the, the quiz or the question here again. If there are no four options, you could also opt to have two options only. Again, you may also add pictures and videos for more engaging content if you wish to give clues and discussion starters. Aside from matching type or multiple choice, you could also choose the true or false question. If the question would answer a ball by true, or false just don't forget to hit the correct answer and if you're done just click done indicate the title of the quiz and give a short background for your quiz or a description it is optional you could just leave it blank but I suggest you give a short background and then continue and voila you have created your quiz how to play kahoot 
You know, students do not need a Kahoot account to play. They just need a good, stable internet connection and a device. This could be used through their mobile phone or it could be in, on a tab or a laptop. Launch the game you created using create.kahoot.it and for the student screen, let them log in to kahoot.it. They may log in through the game pin. This is a six numeric digit that could be seen on the teacher's screen. They will have to provide a nickname to see who got what score and I suggest letting them play by pairs or in groups if you have this done through a face-to-face. -face. But since we are doing this in an online class, you could let them play individually. Once you see all their names on this, the waiting screen, then you could just click start to begin the fun. So that's it. Use this Kahoot to have an engaging and interesting class to your students. And if you want, you could also check their websites to know more about Kahoot.